Hey you guys, today's tutorial is a knotted half up and to start we're just going to start using some products. So I'm starting with Tresemme Shine Spray just to give it some shine and then I'm going to be using Moroccan Oil Hairspray. This is a really good hairspray because it has a really light hold and just makes your hair more workable but you could do without these products. I think it just makes it a little bit easier. And then make sure you brush out your hair really good. If you already have tangles or knots, it's gonna make tying the knots a lot harder. So just make sure your hair is really brushed out. Then we're gonna get into parting the hair. So just take a comb and make a line about one inch above the ear. If you're like me, you're going to want to make sure you have enough hair down to cover the ear completely because I hate when my ear is poking through the hair. And then just go from the top of the middle part and go down and meet at the end of the line, kind of making a square or rectangle. And then we're just going to take the rest of the hair and pin it back so it's out of our way. And I left out a little chunk here so go ahead and make sure all of the hair is pinned back so that we are just working with that rectangle that we sectioned off. Okay, now we're going to start our knots, so go ahead and take two small sections from the top and you can do the knots in any way you want. I take the back, put it over the front, and then put the front through the loop, but whatever way feels most natural. I have done it the other way, I mean it really doesn't matter, but whatever way you choose you will want to stick with that direction the entire time, otherwise it does kind of turn out funky. So then for the next knot, you're just going to take more hair, adding it to the two sections. Each time you tie a knot, you're going to do that. So as you can see, I'm tying the knot, and then after I pull it through, just grab more hair, kind of like you would a French braid, and then just go into tying your next knot. And my rings, you'll see they keep getting stuck on the hair, so maybe take rings off because it might make your life a little bit easier. Once you've used all the hair and there's no more hair to add in, then go ahead and just tie about five more knots with the hair you have. Um, it'll depend on how long your hair is obviously, but you do want to make sure you have enough knots so that the strand can reach the middle of the back of your head where we're going to pin it in just a second. all finished tying the knots go ahead and let down the hair that we had clipped off previously and then you're just gonna grab a bobby pin you don't need to use an elastic to tie off the knots although you could if you want if you're afraid that it might fall out but I never do um, so just take the bobby pin and as you can see I'm just putting it in back just like you would any other half up whether it was braided or twisted 
and then just go ahead and pin it in place. I usually need one or two, but for this one I just used one bobby pin. And then we're going to start the next side. So basically we're just going to do the exact same thing we did on the other side. Um, but you do want to section it off first. I almost forgot to do that. So again, just section it off the same, one inch above the ear, and then going from the top of the part and meeting at the end of the line, and then clipping the other hair off. So like I said, this side's going to be the exact same. Just take your two sections and begin tying knots, adding hair in each time. That rubber band was bugging me. And yeah, you're just going to do that the entire way down, just like we did the other side. And again, just as a reminder, make sure you're doing your knots in the same direction the whole way down. After you've finished the other side and clipped it in back and made sure it's secure, then you are pretty much done. You can curl your hair if you want, but I just left mine straight today, but it is also really cute with curls as well. And after that, you're finished. And thanks so much for watching. Make sure you push thumbs up if you like the video and want to see more, and leave comments with questions or suggestions. And as always, thanks for watching.